everybody. Hope you're all having a fabulous day. For today's message, I'm going to be doing a Twin Flame Union reading with a few little messages from your Twin Flame within this message. Uh, <laughs> so if you would like a personal reading or Twin Flame coaching, please check the description box below. And if you enjoyed the video, Please hit the like button and subscribe for more daily content and we can begin. Would you give me the chance to make things right between us? But in truth, if you're watching this video, you're the one that's making things right for the both of us by choosing to move towards your dreams, by choosing to move towards your, your harmonious union. So things are being made right between you. The rewards are coming in. They're going to fulfill your entire loveliness for your perfect life. That's what you'll have if you continue. So keep doing what you're doing. Keep choosing to make things right. A page of cups we have. Messages of love. Actually, this feels really good. It's the first cup card that's come out today in my readings. And so it's like a newness to it, a freshness, a youthfulness to the love. Although it's been here for eternity and it will be here for eternity. But a new inspiration. Someone's ready for love. We know what they're after. They might be struggling to communicate. Maybe they're not verbalising it yet. Perhaps there's hidden emotions there. Uh, if they have been hiding their true feelings for you, if they're your true person and you're not physically together just yet, then I assure you that they are. It's quite a big deal for them because they have to admit feelings that they've been keeping hidden, which means that they'll have to admit that they've been living without their heart. So be compassionate with them as they go through this process. There's also a bit of a thing coming through that they might be a little bit worried that you're with other people. So it seems to be an energy, a thread that's coming through from the last video, possibly for some of you. And your person is also inviting you to turn to your inner self, to your soul, and look for the well of love and sympathy, harmony and readiness for reconciliation that's there. The person's inviting you to drink from this well. And, and then approach every aspect of your life with this love, sympathy, harmony and readiness for reconciliation. And romantic news that is coming to you will arrive a lot sooner. The person's a hopeless romantic, maybe secretly. And they have a very sensitive and beautiful soul. They may lack a little bit of confidence. But you'll both be opening up emotionally to a new level. You'll be connecting on a deeper level. And that feels really, really good. And yeah, the Page of Cups is offering his cup of love to the Queen of Wands. And it's the second time the Queen of Wands has come out in two videos. Your person is, regardless of gender, they're wildly attracted to your passion, your experience, your strength, your gentleness. They know that you won't settle for an inept or bungling partner. So be receptive, daring, energetic and successful and enterprising 
honor your high aspirations, honor your strength and honor your intuitive insight. The purpose of life is to be happy. Yeah, the whole point of this journey is feeling good. So if you're called to explore something, maybe even if it seems like it's going in a different direction, if it feels good, you can. But if you don't feel good, don't. And just follow the good feeling. Follow the good feeling in your heart at all times. It's very important at this time. Take a stand. Yeah, and know that true love is what's coming. Because that's what's in your heart. That's why it's so important to follow your heart. Your heart attracts that which is for you. If you attract things that are will come to you that you don't want that's okay that's just something to heal through by practicing self-love so if something comes to you and it feels good embrace it if something comes to you and it don't feel good work through it that's it there's nothing nothing to worry about it's coming it's in process every little thing that you desire is coming I feel your energy if you are sad or angry with me. <clears throat> I feel it and it keeps me at a distance because it affects me too. Yeah, your person feels everything. So I don't recommend to always be calling them a dirty hooker. That doesn't actually help the situation in any way, shape or form. If... A negative thought towards them does arise. However, don't judge it. Don't beat yourself up for you. That's not the appropriate posture to take either. If you have a negative thought to, about your person, the appropriate posture to take is to simply look at it and love yourself in that place until that negative thought's dissolve. Thought dissolves and if it keeps coming up, just keep putting more and more love there. Sometimes the healing happens in layers. I'm sorry I held myself back with you. Yeah, everybody is guilty of this. Perhaps it's because you held yourself back with them because you were afraid that if you were vulnerable, if you showed your true feelings, then your person would run away and you'd never see them again. In that case, that's just an old pattern from previous relationships. That's just another place in consciousness that's asking for your love and attention there. You'll be used to partners who are not your twin flame. The twin flame is a completely different kettle of fish. It's not, it's not the same ballpark. It's not even the same sport as your previous partners. However, they will show you the patterns from these previous relationships so that you can work through the man can heal the man can love yourself fully in those places the moon illusions romantic fantasies pathway out of your fears yeah there's a lot going on with the moon something's going to be illuminated The subconscious being reflected back to you. And that's what your twin flame does. That's your mirror. Your twin flame is giving you the chance to work with whatever you're being shown. There's an element of diving deep into the depths of who you are. And being willing to see and accept everything you find. You're being invited to release the control you've held over your internal emotional realm in order to access your innermost truths. 
connecting deeply to and accepting all that you are and releasing everything that you are not. You are a divine child of the universe. Any thought that's not divine is not part of who you are, so it shouldn't be followed. It should just be observed and dissolved with the practice of self-love. And the Seven of Swords. We had the Eight of Swords in the previous message. I have a similar sort of energy. You may have a feeling that things haven't been done the right way in the past, but that's okay. It's okay to follow your guidance. It's okay to make mist mistakes. Maybe you feel like you made a mistake in having held yourself back from your person in the past, and so they can only mirror you. So that's why they'd have held themselves back with you. It's okay, don't be hard on yourself for having had this pattern. Probably a pattern from previous relationship. That's what's being healed through right now. So now you know that it's safe to be yourself with your person. It's safe to be truthful and to be vulnerable and to be able to speak your truth to make things work. Yes, yeah, things probably still being still left unsaid at this time and as yet undiscovered uh, but please know you don't have to say it all prematurely you'll know when the right moment is to uh, to express yourself and by expressing yourself I mean do so in a way that's appropriate to your relationship at the time I'm, I'm not suggesting that you dump an entire dumper truck of love oh. On top of your person. There's no need to overwhelm them, just follow your divine guidance. You can't make a mistake if you choose to allow love to guide you here. Okay everybody, I'm going to end this message here. I really hope that you enjoyed it and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.